Uh, well, first, let me say, you know, I, I think the sports world was really touched by Tyler Trent and his battle with cancer, and obviously our prayers and sympathies are with him. I, I read a story yesterday that was written about him and just people, young men, pediatrics that really battle cancer. And it really touches home here on, a, on account of uh, Scott Carter and Mike Carter losing his son to cancer at an early age. And, and so what I love about sports is you're able to see an event like that and everybody's able to rally around. And so knowing that it touches so close to Oral Roberts and knowing that Tyler has been such a national scene, uh, it, it's, I, I, I heard his prayer after he got cancer uh, after it returned was to make a difference. And uh, I, I think that we can all value that and understand the ability to make a difference in kids' lives and others who battle this dreaded disease. I thought tonight the difference makers were Eman and, and Kevin and even Kerwin. I thought he did a, a really good job defensively. I know with Kerwin in the game in the first half, we were a plus 14. And he was able to do some things defensively. But to have career highs from uh, Kevin and and E-Man, for those two to combine to go 20 for 25, uh, it led to a high-scoring evening. Only 10 three-point shots tonight. Yeah. Uh, is this more um, a matter of three-pointers um, that you'd like to cut down the three-point attempt a little bit than what you've had so open the first half? Of Not really. Uh, you know, DJ shot 10 in the last game. He made seven of them. Sam is, is a, a better than 40% three-point shooter. We were expecting a double team uh, off of Eman and off of Kevin and even Kerwin. And so we were really prepared in order for them to throw the basketball out and get threes that way or even be able to punch the basketball back inside. So we were a little surprised that they didn't double team. But, I mean, that's what led to Kevin and it's what led to Eman's numbers. Uh, DJ shoots 44%. He's in the top 150 players in all of America in his ability to make threes. And Sam is shooting 41%. Both of them are really good. And so on account of that, we're not bashful at all. But I thought tonight they just took away the perimeter and they said, hey, y'all have to beat us making twos. And we were fortunate that, th that we did. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't happened all year, and the truth is is we haven't even been able to win a, a home game against a Division One opponent. And I think over the course of time, the, the rotation and what guys bring to the table, we better understand as a coaching staff. I think we're more familiar about what puts us in the best uh, situation defensively and some adjustments that we have to make. But anytime you watch these young guys grow up and your good players get better, I mean, you, you take a great deal of satisfaction. You're like a proud parent uh, at watching your players get better. I do believe that the guys in that locker room want to be good, and I think we're doing the things necessary, getting to the free throw line, really defending the arc, and that, that allows us. I know they shot 42% tonight as a team. Um, UND did. And if we can continue to guard without fouling, which we were just average at tonight, and then convert on our free throws, while being committed to the defensive end of the court, I, I do believe we have a chance to uh, to to get better and to, to make some strides in this conference. How encouraging was it to see how it was from a game like this with three some games like this slip away in the past couple of years? Yeah. Where you had a double digit lead and just slip down to four or so. But then the guys found a way to pull away and finish strong. How encouraging was that? Yeah, really, I, I would, um, you know, you had the 16-point lead. We made some substitutions and was just trying to get some guys to for rest down the stretch, and they turned it pretty quickly. And by the time we was able to get E-Man and Sam back in the game, that momentum had swung. And so for us to get the ball where it needed to be in E-Man and Kevin's hands and then Sam also being able to make plays is really encouraging. And, and this team does have some grit and they have some resiliency. And I think it showed last uh, Sunday we, we got down to Omaha and they kept battling. And tonight for to, to kind of stretch a two-possession game into a four-possession game is a tribute to the guys in that locker room.